profit. So I just want to do a quick video, mainly for brand new sellers. For whatever reason, just say you want to block um, a country, right? Or a location. You don't want to ship there for whatever reason. Maybe you've done the overseas international thing before and you got scammed. The buyer said they didn't receive it. You had to refund them. You never got your item back. Or you just don't want to ship to certain places, right? And you want to block those so that buyers in those countries won't won't be able to purchase your listing and so you won't have to ship to those places so this is how you uh, block I'm gonna show you how you block those countries or locations right so you want to go to the left side of your screen where it says your name so you want to click on the drop down and go to account settings um, yeah so you want to go to account settings and then you go here to site preferences on your right. You go to site preferences. And then you want to look for shipping uh, preferences. So right here, I would say like a third into the page. Yeah. So here you see shipping preferences. You hit shipping preferences, this link down here. And you scroll down to the bottom of the page and you see it says exclude shipping locations on the left side. So you want to hit edit. And here it is. So you have domestic. This is within the U.S. Um, some people don't want to ship to Alaska or Hawaii because it can be really pricey. I ship there. I just, if it's a heavy item and it's not going to, it's not, you know, going to fit in a flat rate envelope or a, regional rate box or something that you kind of know how much it's going to be. I usually um, would do calculated shipping, but some people just don't want to ship here at all, right? They don't want to take the time to do calculated shipping or whatever, or they just don't want to ship here. So you would click that. You would select that. APO, you know, um, FPOs, some people don't want to ship to those because again, it can be a little bit more pricey. Um, I don't know what this means exactly, U.S. protectorates, protectorates, but you get the gist. If you don't want to ship to these places, you check those boxes. And here you have international. You have Africa, Europe, Oceania, Asia, you know, here's the list. If you don't want to ship to any one of these um, continents, any one of these areas, you just check those boxes. Again, we have P.O. boxes. If you don't want to ship to P.O. boxes... You check here. So when you check, I mean, I ship to most of these places. I just use the eBay Global Shipping Program. If you don't know what it is, well, that's for another video. But I'm assuming that you do. Yeah, eBay, you know, they deal with all the shipping. You just ship to their location here in Kentucky, and they take care of it from, from there. But um, I ship to, as all the places that the eBay Global Shipping will ship to, I ship there as long as it goes through the eBay Global Shipping program, I'm fine. So I don't really restrict many countries, honestly. Um, so here you see um, you have the option to say you have, you just realized you want to block some countries, but you already have 500 listings on eBay. You have the uh, option here to apply whatever settings you make at the top here, whatever country you decide to exclude, if you do and you wanna apply it to your listings that's already active, you can check this and eBay will do that for you. They will cause those listings to be blocked from the countries you excluded as well. And lastly, at the bottom here, it says global shipping. This is if you choose the global shipping route where you want eBay to ship your items out to international countries for you. Um, you can click this button and even if you exclude something at the top here, but somebody uses the global shipping program, it can override it and eBay will send it out. They will still be able to purchase. So you have that option as well. It says, for example, if you usually don't ship to Malta, but want to ship to Malta via global shipping program, check this box, right? So the global shipping program can actually override that for you. But yeah, that's pretty much how you get to this page. And you just, when, when you're done selecting whatever country it is that you don't want to ship to, whatever location, you just hit save and it will update your info for you. But remember, you just go to um, account 
settings, you hit site preferences, shipping preferences, and then you scroll all the way down to exclude shipping locations and it brings you to this page, right? You edit and it brings you to this page. So that's it guys. Just wanted to share. Maybe you're brand new. You don't want to ship overseas for whatever reason. This is Spoon Feeding Profit. If this helped you, definitely give the video a thumbs up. See you guys next time. Be kind.